Good morning, everyone. I'm on the M1 driving from Doncaster up to Media City in um, where I'm going to do the BBC podcast. Um, and I deliberately stayed off the M62 and picked a longer route um, after my experience there trying to get to um, Salford Library last week. Um, the traffic's moving. Not fast, but it's moving. Um, so, yeah, last night, uh, Greece um, scored a, a try in the game against Samoa. Samoa were um, much better than they were the previous week. And, you know, predictably, Facebook people, tabloid columnists in Australia just trying to get engagement, you know, talking about the blowout score lines and, oh, we should only have an 18 World Cup. Um, an 18 World Cup was a dream in 1988. Um, Morris went for 10 and it was considered audacious in 1995. So if the opinion of the dreamer in 1988 becomes the opinion of the miserablest in 19, in 2022, then that means we're on the right track. And that means that um, adding teams uh, is the way to go. Because there used to be only, I remember for most of my, would I say most of my life, more than half my life, whoa, whoa, um, almost got hit by a semi-trailer there. Um, more than half my life, only five countries played rugby league. So the fact that the worst critic of international rugby league is now saying that we should have eight teams in the World Cup is a huge feather in the cap of administrators for the last 30 years and the players who've uh, stuck their neck out to play for developing countries. Um, Anyway, I'll be back. I, I, I want to do something when, when I'm in Salford Keys. Uh, maybe something inside the studio. Uh, some, something like that. So, um, uh, sit tight. So, I'm in Salford Keys for the podcast and I just realised I've lost my wash bag. That's like toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, statin tablets, uh, mouthwash. Uh, so, anyway, um, I haven't lost it. I know where it is. I, I must have left it in my hotel room in Hull. Uh, I think I can go back and get it on Friday when I go to Leeds. I'm just going to add about two hours to the journey just to pick up my wash bag, but it was bound to happen. So uh, anyway, I think over here there's a co-op and I can uh, buy some mouthwash and toothbrush and toothpaste anyway. Uh, anyway, never a dull moment. I'm doing a Gonzo video of, at the World Cup, and I'm actually filming now and Hello. testing my levels at the same time. Hello. I'm multi multi purpose. Oh, sorry, yeah, it's it's us, it's so now it's time. It's that call that has to happen. Lost property. I'm about to call the uh, Hull Marina Holiday Inn about my wash bag, and I'm about to call the Premier Inn in Doncaster about my beanie. Yes, the beanie didn't quite last a week. <laughs> How about that? That's really brightened my up uh, my night. Lost my glasses. Forgot my room number. Um, yeah, the tiredness is starting to get to me, but uh, the Tongan fans are waking me up. That's a good shot. What a way to get it back again here. Here's Ralph. Back on the inside. Oh, he's through. He's through. Kyle Evans is underneath the sticks. 12 months ago, he'd never played rugby league. Now he's scoring a World Cup try. They are going to that left hand side trying to create the numbers, and they've got the numbers. And from that scrum play, Daniel Tupo. We'll skid over. The big burst through again. The beater is short. Is he? Okay, yeah, just pause there. I can see the ball on the goal line, and that was all momentum. The ball was never promoted. I've seen all available angles to make my decision. Thank you. Yeah, nice quick decision.
This is dangerous for Wales. Very dangerous for Wales. They can try and work the Welsh out on the edges, or they can try and go back down the middle through Tessie Mew, who scores. And the Tongans only have five tackles to have a go here. They won't need all of those because Tupo is in at the corner. Lola here again now. Back it comes to Amoni. Amoni out to Talakai. Talakai's pass away and Tupo is in for the hat trick. So that's it, the night's over. Um, it was quite a chaotic day. I'm about to be hit by a truck, I think. But uh, great to see Casey Badger, uh, referee, a uh, senior international for the first time, uh, and it was 32-6, very brave Wales team. And what else do I want to say? I want to say that um, I lost my keys. Uh, no, I lost my phone. I lost, I lost my phone. I lost. I forgot what room I was in. Um, I'm getting really tired now. I'm really looking forward to uh, a, a day off. Um, anyway, uh, that's it for another episode. See ya.